Andrew Allegretta here with the head coach of Virginia Tech women's basketball, Coach Wolf. The Hokies 7-1 and to start the season, coming off two road wins at Penn State at number 8 Tennessee. Coach, I say this, I think, in a measured way, one of the biggest weeks in Virginia Tech women's basketball history. We'll see where it goes for the rest of the season. But I want to know what this has been like for the players. What reactions, what emotions have you seen from them? Well, you know, I think that they're um, thrilled to be able to go to two tough places and win games. I think they're uh, able to see now if they work as hard as they have worked individually and collectively that you know you can end up uh, being rewarded for it. So uh, you know I don't I don't want to you know I there's been great success when Bonnie was the coach here. So I don't want to you know uh, put this in any context uh, historically other than the fact that it was two games that. Um, you know that we needed to win. That they, uh, the ladies showed great toughness and and uh, and played well for most of both games. Guard Vanessa Panusis, National Player of the Week by ESPN WACC Player of the Week, 21 points at Tennessee. She's atop every scouting report. Teams know she can shoot the three. How are you still and the coaching at staff still able to find her three-point looks? Well, again, I, I you know I don't think it's the coaching staff. I think that. Vanessa has benefited greatly by uh, Shanette and Reagan's, you know, Shanette in her first year and Reagan being healthier. Um, you know, I think that she's not afraid of the moment, so she'll take the right shot and, you know, the, the atmosphere of Tennessee didn't rattle her or anything like that. So, um, you know, I think that, you know, Shanette has impacted everybody dramatically, and I think Vanessa would be the first to say that, that, you know, she, Vanessa's played very well, but she hasn't had to carry as big a load as she had to in the past. How unique is the performance from Shanette Hicks so far this season, a freshman and a point guard? Well, she's, you know, has a, a very good background. She's been well coached. Um, and she's competitive. She's not afraid of the moment either. You know, she made three of the biggest plays in, in the Tennessee game in the last four minutes of the game. And uh, you know, they, they, I think collectively they showed a lot of grit. Uh, you know, for that to be able to hold a team with seven McDonald's All-Americans scoreless for the last six minutes of the game is quite an accomplishment. So let's talk about that defense. 43 points for Tennessee, the lowest point total since the 70s for the Lady Falls. What have you liked about your defense's performance? What has made you proud? Well, the communication on Sunday was as good as you could have in a zone. Like, I think that the, the guys in the back really talked, you know, uh, Reagan and Sid and Dom and Hannah did a good job of communicating, pushing people uh, to the right places. I thought that uh, Jeanette, uh, Vanessa, Sammy, uh, Rachel did a good job on the perimeter of it. Um, so I think it was, you know, listening to the game plan, I thought the assistant coaches did a great job scouting it, and it left us in a position where we played well. So we've talked about Vanessa, we've talked about Jeanette, we could talk about a lot of different players, but I want to shine the spotlight on Dominique Powell, who seems to have a very good season, great week, stepping in for Tasia Campbell when she was out. What have you liked from Dominique the forward? You know, I, I've liked everything about Dom. Dom is uh, a genuine kid. I think that she... Uh, you know, she gives you an honest effort every game, every practice. Um, she's totally embraced being at Virginia Tech in every way, academically, socially, and um, and I think that you know, being thrust into a situation where we really needed her, she really stepped up big time. Virginia Tech is now receiving votes in the top 25. What new challenges do you expect from opponents now that Tech will be circled a little bit more on the schedule? You know, I just think you you have to ignore all that stuff, Andrew. I think it's nice. It's I guess a compliment to the way we played, but you know, it doesn't give you any extra anything going into the game tomorrow. We, we have to be uh, really conscious of who we are and what got us to this point. And I think if we get off track, then you can easily slip back. So let me ask you it like this. I know you've talked openly with your team about desiring to make the NCAA tournament. That's not been a secret. Um, what gives you confidence that if Tech plays the way it should play, that it can be one of those teams? You know, I, I've thought from the beginning, separate from what happened this weekend, that we could be one of those teams, and I still think we can, and I think, you know, the play in those two games kind of uh, reinforced that for me. So, you know, again, we would have to play that way, and we have to, you know, we're in the toughest women's basketball conference in the country, so, you know, we're going to have 15, 14, 15 games like that, so, uh, you know, if you take a night off and you don't come ready to play as well as you can play, you'll get beat. Best of luck the rest of the season. All right, Andrew, thank you.